Today is Sunday. It's the Super Bowl. I'm not really for either team. But if I was a betting man, I'd go ahead and bet on the Patriots. But um, neither one of them teams are my favorite at all. But I like Georgia. Not really a fan of New England whatsoever. But like I said, if I was betting, I'd be on the Patriots. But anyways, I got my check Friday, and I was able to see what my deductions was at this company. I'm up here at Walmart right now. I had to get some coffee for the night. Uh, yeah, just some coffee and some cream, that's all. And uh, some food out of here, but that's for the Super Bowl. By the way, if y'all don't know, I use this truck as my personal vehicle also. So, uh, since I'm paying the truck note on it, not directly out of my pocket, but through my settlements, I uh, use this truck to go out of town and go on a business trips and to go shopping. And I drive it around town. I go to different dealerships and different banks. And I just use it for personal use. Don't need no law book. Uh... It's better than buying a car or a used car, you know, anything like that. I just take the truck everywhere. So, it's a good thing for me. But I got my paycheck. And, uh, I guess I posted up on the screen. I ain't going to post my actual paycheck, but I'm going to post the deductions to kind of give you an idea of what my deductions are at this company. Now, I'm not looking at the sheet myself right now, but y'all y'all should be able to see it. I got my truck notice 695. I got physical damage. I got occupational insurance. And I got bobtail insurance. Those are my four deductions. Insurance and the truck note. That's Fitz cost. Uh, I calculated it. I think my total fixed expenses is $822 and some change. At Interstate Distributor, my fixed expenses was $853 or $57. So, so far, my expenses at this company is the lowest uh, that I ever had to pay out. So, that's a good thing. Uh, as far as pay wise, I had a video last night that I had shot when I was at the parking lot of my terminal. But when I went to edit the video, see how the camera is facing? There was a bunch of trailers lined up over here, and y'all know how the logo how the logo situation goes. So couldn't really use the video, so I just I just went on and scrapped it. Still working on the V logs. Um, now as far as the V logs go, y'all notice. Um, in the last video, uh, what was it called? Dirty Trailer? Something like that. Y'all notice the audio isn't too good. So we, we working on it. You know, I used the YouTube budget and we got some, some audio equipment on the way so we can improve the audio, okay? Now that's that, that particular audio that y'all hearing, that's straight from the GoPro, which as y'all can see is not the audio is not great at all, so we working on it. We got some, some microphones coming, and we got some more memory cards coming. This camera right here, I, I'm still testing it out. You know, this is my 360 camera, and uh, I'm testing it out to see how it, how it is when it's not on 360. Because the audio on this camera is good, as y'all can tell. It's, it's really good. Um, this is the camera I used when I was doing the videos from the passenger seat and I, I, I was just sitting in the driveway talking I was using this particular camera because of the audio the audio was great the picture quality may be better than my GoPro but you know I don't know so fish expenses 820 something dollars um, the run I did last night paid me nine hundred dollars and thirty five cent I got another run tonight after the Super Bowl that's gonna pay me twelve hundred I think 1235 um, and it's gonna take 24 hours okay so that nine hundred dollar load that took 24 hours this next load is paying uh, I mean this next load is gonna take 24 hours so this company got the potential 
So I wanted to talk about the potential of the company. And like I said, this wasn't this was this particular company wasn't um high on my list to go to. It was at the very bottom. And uh the main reason I told y'all the main reason it was at the very bottom is is because of how much it paid. That was the sole reason. Y'all know anytime uh I, I choose a company, it's about to pay. And when I did the math for this company, the math wasn't working out. So I was looking at, well, okay, if the paycheck is not going to be what I want it to be, then what other benefits can the company offer me, which, of course, I can be home every day or every other day. It's mainly every day for me because I live right beside the terminal. So um, that's assuming I don't got to take a 10-hour break somewhere out on the road. But so far that hasn't. Well, it did happen. Uh, it happened last night. But that's only because I got sleepy. I did a 8-2 uh, split. I had already took a two-hour break at a store I was delivering to. Then I fell asleep somewhere in Kentucky at a rest area. I was too damn tired. I ain't really getting no sleep. So I went on and took an eight-hour break, came back home, got here around midnight. And uh, that was all of that. But what is the potential of this company? Let's talk about negative paychecks, okay? My fits expenses is $822, okay? Like I said, the run I took last night paid me $900, so that took care of the fits expenses. But today is a new week, so that 900 check went on uh, last week's check. Today is Sunday, so it's a new week. Um, so the run I'm doing tonight, paying $1,200, that's going to pay. It's just like interstate. The first load is going to pay. My fits expenses, truck note insurance, and fuel for the run. So that means everything I make after this paycheck. I mean, everything I um, everything I make after uh, this particular load is what's going to be my paycheck. The potential after looking at the, after looking at how this company operates, I got the potential to make anywhere from. two thousand dollars I want to say two thousand dollars to let's say thirty five hundred okay um where did I come up with that number well like I said this particular law right here is paying me twelve hundred gross which I'm talking gross uh, after expenses which my only expenses is eight hundred and twenty two dollars so that leaves me Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It leaves me five days to to uh, create my paycheck. Okay, this particular company got unlimited freight. I don't have to worry about somebody lying to me talking about we ain't got no freight in the area. I ain't got to worry about that horse shit. They got freight every day I go down now, okay? If they ain't got no freight, I'm at the house. Now, another thing I was thinking about since I am home more I thought about, of course, I told y'all getting my eBay store back up and running, which I'm working on that. But I thought thought about doing Uber around Nashville just to test that out, you know, just to test it out. Since I'm at, like right now, I could be doing Uber right now until like 5 p.m. Then at 5 p.m. I come home, get some sleep, leave out for work at like 1, 2 in the morning, uh... Make my money that way. I thought about it. I think it's a good idea. I live right here by downtown. Downtown is, I don't know if y'all can see it in the background on the camera, but downtown is like right behind me. It's like five minutes. Y'all y'all roll with me to TA. Y'all know downtown five minutes from here. The airport, five, well, the airport is like ten minutes from here, but downtown is five. The airport is on the other side of downtown, but I thought about doing Uber or Lyft, you know. Um, I just got the potential to make so much money than I did when I was OTR. It's just theory. It's just theory. But, um, like I said, I thought when I did the math, I didn't think I was going to be able to make too much money at this company. But now that I'm here and I'm seeing how they operate... 
and I'm seeing what my fits expenses were, which was real low, as low as it's ever been. And uh, I don't know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong, I don't know. But we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Like I said, I I'm gonna show y'all my, de my deductions. Now, as far as fuel, I get fuel at the terminal, so I'm gonna put that up as a uh, part of my deductions. Fuel at the terminal is only two dollars and eight cents a gallon, cheaper than my QPN card. So, um, and the way it works here at this company, they only charge you ten cent for uh, each time you do a transaction with their card. So, if I fill the truck up, I can fill it up at two dollars and eight cent. They only if they only charge me ten cent just because I use the card. That's it. Not ten cents a gallon. Just just a single ten cent for using their fuel card. So I probably need uh, two fill ups a week, maybe, and maybe a, a half a tank if if that don't work. But um, this is just theory. It's theory because I haven't I haven't um worked a full week yet, so I can see. Y'all know last week I was out in Memphis. Uh, I took the weekend off. Then I took that Monday. Well, I I, I didn't work till Tuesday. I started my work week on Tuesday morning, like 3 a.m., and then I worked the rest of the week. So, I need to get a full weekend. And also, when I show y'all that sheet with the deductions, uh, go ahead and ignore that uh, drug scream and, and y'all will see it, but ignore that. That's just a one-time fee. Uh, pretty much doing orientation, they they charge me for the drug scream and the, the drug test and all that shit. So go ahead and know all that. Um, but other than that, I'm trying to think, is there anything else on this sheet? I think that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> We gonna keep it rolling. No, I don't want to just sit in the parking lot. Like. What else can I possibly tell y'all? I'm trying to think. What on earth will people want to know? I went over the fixed expenses. It's very difficult from what I can see to get a negative paycheck here since my fixed expenses is only $822. Um, I mean, that's like one day's worth of work. Um, fuel is cheap. So you got cheap fuel, real low deductions. What else could y'all possibly want to know? I know y'all want to know how much loads are paying. And uh, where exactly do I run? I'm not going to answer none of that. Uh, as far as where I run, I'm still OTR. I'm not a local driver, guys. I don't want, you know what I'm saying? I don't want people making fun of me because y'all think I'm a local driver. I'm still OTR. Uh, as y'all can see in, in my last video, I went up to Illinois. Yesterday, I went to Ohio. Uh, I'm still OTR, okay? I, I'm, I'm still going all the way out to different states. It's just that I, all my loads come back. So, for example, tonight I'm going back to Ohio. Take a load up to Ohio, uh, deliver the load. Then I got a drop and hook with, with the empty trail and bring that load back, deliver back here. So it's pretty much out and back, out and back, out and back. Other than that, I'm going to keep it rolling. What else could y'all possibly want to know? We working on the audio. We working on it. Hopefully there's no audio issues with this particular camera, but who knows. And uh, to tell you the truth, guys, if my paycheck is what I want it to be, you know, I told y'all I wanted to make $9,000 a month. That's what I told you. That, that was including the YouTube money also, if y'all didn't know. But if this company got the potential to pay me, let's just say I get $2,000 a week take home. It's 2468. Uh, and then you tack on whatever else extra I make. 
uh, massage trucking. Let's say I do Uber on the side. I don't know what Uber. I don't know what I can make with Uber. All right, let's say two hundred dollars a week. Two, four, six, eight. Eight, 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 eight hundred. Toss in YouTube, maybe ten thousand. Toss in the eBay store. My eBay store is a question mark because got to see what's popping. If I can get it back up the way it used to be, why the fuck is he waiting on me, man? Damn, fool. If I can get it back up to what it used to be, let's just say, let's just take it short, man. $300 a week for eBay. $300. Let me grind in my gears trying to go around with somebody in the road. 300, that's 10,300. Some soft tires when you're using a damn truck to go through residential neighborhoods. Potential is high, but will it happen? I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera for y'all end up figuring out where the hell I live. See y'all tomorrow. Well, you got on the Super Bowl now. Like I said, if I was a big man, I'd go with the Patriots. I just want a close game. I want the game going to overtime. I want them to fucking work for it. I don't want no damn blowouts. No shit like that. But I'm going to end this video, like I said. I don't need no damn stockers. I'm like damn near 30 minutes from the house.